okay so welcome back uh, we are now going to set up the ATF setups we are done with employee resource now it's time for department uh, department setups we can go to the screen this is the WMS and this is where you can set up the department before you set the department you define the class so I'm going to default I'm going to say one class only this is for reporting purpose you can can leave it null as well okay I'll save it perfect so and then there's the department definition so I'm going to define the two department uh, one is picking um, outbound and kind of warehouse and inbound three department so first one is outbound map it to warehouse class and go to the resources in the outbound I have resources name pick I have two units of resources I'm gonna add those two resource pick one and pick two that's complete my setup related to departments I map the department with the resource and then the actual employee names are also mapped so we're done then we divide a warehouse this is internal so I'm gonna map to CC1 that's a count okay I'm gonna put the count resource I got like a, a one here so I go go to instance and then map this to one resource here save this transaction and this is good I can also add another transaction called REPL as a replenishment I also have one guy who will do this go to the instance look for this replenishment and then map it so I mapped counting and replenishment inside the warehouse so that's uh, pretty much and then I go to the next one let's say the department is inbound I put them inbound same class I can map go to the resource I have put away resource got a one resource there go to the instance look for that and save it so this complete uh, the three department so picking put away replenishment and cycle count all are done so we are good so department definitions are complete departments and resources are tied and they they are good so you can validate where are we so we depart this is complete right we have also completed this okay so next one will be the task creations we can straight away go to the task uh, task window and define the standard task type so we are going to define pick as a task and uh, map this to department picking department or sorry we have outbound department and this left hand uh, this left this code is user defined this is the system task type so I'm gonna map this to with the picking and then go to the resource and add those resource who will do this so this resource is coming from the outbound so we can say one unit is required and save it so this is complete similarly I'll define other task called put put away uh, okay put away task is done by inbound and we can map this to put away we have one resource here so just map to the put away so one unit is required all right so then we got cycle count cycle count is to warehouse and here you can look for cycle counting right go to the resource and map those resource here you got only one I think cycle count is here 
so one unit is required so close this and the last one REPL um, can I make everybody uppercase okay we'll do that later now warehouse and then here task type uh, we have to select the replenish task type go to the resource add your resource at replenishment is the resource here in this case one unit again and save this okay so more or less we are complete if you have any additional variants for example picking has one more variance so you can define pick one and map them to okay so pick only four letter it accepts so we have to say let's say pick one sorry hazard peak or something let's say you have so we can map this to pick one so let's say this is um, um, frozen item picking something like that so frozen item picking and uh, this is also mapped to outbound and it's also done by the map to picking and then resource map this to pick resource all right so we're kind of done the similar uh, mapping for both the uh, pick and pick one um, which we'll review it later i think this would need some revision here we should have defined one more resource uh, but yeah let, let's check them later so uh, idea is that you can define for one system defined task type called pick you can have multiple user defined pick and pick one and all that so for simplicity i'll just put everything on uppercase so that all looks same perfect so focus area would be pick put cc repl and uh, this will help us uh, perform the task this is the task that we have created now when the task will be invoked that's the one question that we will see as we go it's a transaction by transaction is changes and uh, the stamping of this task for that transaction how that happens that's another thing for example if you are doing a sales order picking then uh, why <coughs> this particular task should be stamped while you do a cycle count this task should be stamped so there should be a rule that will tell when this task will be assigned and what condition so we are going to map those condition in something called task type assignment rule so that is the next uh, next um, video that i'll do on that which will be very very important and i'll make use of this setup while you do that task type assignment setup and if you notice uh, we are here we're done with the we're done with this we have also added the resource who will do the task so both are done what is left is this which we'll do in the next session so thank you very much for watching this video we'll come back shortly